Good morning from inside the tent. As you can hear, on day eight, it is raining. I've also decided to make this a zero day, so it's like after nine. I'm still in here, and I'm going to stay here for a little while. Maybe I've got some audible books, and uh, I'm just going to relax for a bit and not cycle. I know, an amazing thought. Camping Wilcox sits on top of a high ridge overlooking the coastline, which is why it was uphill all the way to get here. And it's interesting, you can see the uh, life cycle of the forest. Around me, all over the place, are uh, fallen pine, or not pine, fallen uh, birch trees or poplars. And yet the forest is pine. And what happens is, you get the faster growing deciduous trees and these provide enough shelter for the pines which eventually make up the mature forest. Pretty cool. This was originally the Coquitlam, built during World War II as a minesweeper. The wooden hull made it perfect for that. After the war, it was moved to Anticosti and renamed the Wilcox, and it delivered supplies until, in 1954, uh, in June, uh, it got caught in a storm and was wrecked. And the, the crew swam ashore, so it's not a bad story, mostly. Anyhow, uh, it's been here ever since means this is older than I am. In the winter, this bay ice is over and incredible pressures are brought onto the shore by the movement of the ice. And you can see that here. These creases are created by rock pushing against rock being pushed by the ice. It takes a lot of force to do that. I find myself thinking about water a lot. Where to get it, how to store it, how to filter it, how to transport it, when I'm gonna have my next drink. Water is everything on a trip like this. You wouldn't think, even like those empty crates up ahead, I dreamed that those contained water and I could have the drink. It's interesting that. Puts things in perspective. Okay, I'm filtering some water here as I wait for my supper to cook in the beautiful environment of the little washroom, helper room here at Camping Wilcox. It's been raining all day and I've spent the day basically after my walk cooped up in my tent listening to um, Daniel Livingston's uh, 
engaging book on the Battle of Crecci. It's a, a 10 hour listen. Still got a couple more hours to go. Um, I've been listening to it in the evenings on the way out. It's quite a good read. So I'm just going to pause this for a sec. Today's food is Kung Pao Beef by Alpine Air. And we'll see how it goes. Yesterday's was fantastic. Could have been a wee bit more spicy. But uh, yeah, the uh, sausage with pasta, or pasta with sausage, 9 out of 10. Could have been a wee bit more spicy, but was still quite excellent. And this looks good. Just like the uh, pasta yesterday, I put in the proper amount of water and it really does wonders for it. Well, that was pretty good. I'd give it another nine. Well done. Well, what I'm gonna do tomorrow is gonna depend a lot on the weather. I've got three different weather forecasts varying between a little, a lot, and a ton of rain. Temperatures will be nice, but a nice temperature when you're wet isn't that nice. And uh, today has convinced me to be cautious about this. Uh, if I don't stay dry, I could get pretty miserable in a hurry. And staying dry means keeping the interior of this tent dry and having dry clothes, which I got right now. How long will my raincoat hold up? Don't know. Um, certainly if it's raining and I'm biking, I've got a poncho I can put on top of it. That'll help a lot. Getting a little seepage through the floor, but nothing major. Uh, a little condensation dripping from the roof, but again, nothing major. So the tent's holding up. I can hold up here fine for a little bit. Um, the other side of it, um, I really want to be able to go to Bay de la Tour. I really want to be able to go to Vaudray Falls. These are the big attractions, right? Uh, if I can get there, I will. And uh, I've been told that the CPAC people will drive you back if you can't make it back on your own and they've done that already for five cyclists so uh i would probably take them up on that <laughs> um my other thing is i at risk of running out of food uh <laughs> how ironic given how proud i was of my cash um but i've got two days supply left um so i can get maybe to Bay de la Tour and back here or to the Chalet Le Patat, which I'll talk about later. And if I can get here, I can pick up food at the Auberge McDonald. That gets me back to my cash. Um, but that depends on being able to stay dry. Everything depends on being able to stay dry. It's funny, I was thinking of water and water is life. That's been my slogan. Uh, water is more than life in this situation. <laughs> 